Wolf Brother Mythos has an airbrush and I need your help to help me encourage him to use it. Hey guys, welcome to Frosted Fist. I am Freak. I play the Imperial Fist, and I'm usually accompanied by my good friend Mythos, or Wolf Brother Mythos, who plays the Space Wolves. I wanted to dedicate a series of tutorial videos to my Wolf Brother, and for several reasons. And the main one is that he has an airbrush, but I want to encourage him to use it. And what I need your help in is if you guys know how to do some airbrush work, help me encourage him to use it. Now, in his defense, he has been working on a big commission project. Commission? Commission project. I'll learn to speak one day. Uh, but anyway, he has been really diligently working on this project, um, which uh, it looks amazing. These Loyalist Night Lords that he's painted are fantastic. As a matter of fact, if you go back into our channel, you'll find where he showcases those. And I'm telling you guys, I, I'm, I'm a, I, I think they look great. They, they look really, really good. Um, and so I believe with the, um, the, the help of an airbrush, it will just send his skill to a whole new level. Uh, but again, in his defense, he's been so caught up on doing these no, uh, Loyalist Night Lords that he has not been able to play around with his airbrush. I get it. And of course, you don't want to use, you know, a new airbrush, especially you have no skill whatsoever uh, ever using one and start spraying the mess out of a project that you're going to turn into a customer. Not a good idea. Um, so I get it. But he's about to wrap up that project, which will allow him to start working on his own work. Again, I'm trying to encourage him to do more of his own stuff. So, what I want to do though is I want to make a series of tutorial videos and tips and tricks with an airbrush that will help him, but I'm hoping that will also encourage you, um, our YouTube uh, viewers, especially if you are new to airbrushing. So, now I must put this disclaimer out. Me. I am in no way, shape, or form a professional airbrush painter. Uh, the only thing that I put the pro in is procrastination. That's it. So but I, I, what I have done is I have taken a tool, which is the airbrush, and have used it to enhance the look of my miniatures. That's it. And so far I've gotten a lot of good comments about them, which means that I might be doing something right. So that's the case then I want to be able to pass that knowledge on to you because again I was brand new I had no idea how to use an airbrush but I sure was eager to, eager to learn and so I hyper focused on learning how to operate an airbrush and of course I'm self-taught so uh, I learned how to do it again um, these tips and tricks um, may help you then again they may not now if you're this incredible amazing airbrush guru that uh, you know somehow have come down the airbrush guru mountain and have seen this video and say well you know that's not quite how I airbrush and you know what that's great this isn't for you this video is for the brand spanking new guy who is kind of on a fence should I airbrush should I not airbrush you know, that is who this video is for. And also as a dedication to my wolf brother Mythos because I want him to use a tool that he has at his disposal that will encourage him or to really do some serious, serious, amazing work on his miniatures. So we are going to go table down and I want to show you the difference between the first models that I painted by hand versus the most recent models that I have airbrushed. And you can see the difference. Now, I do like 
the basic hand uh, painted models. And I still really like my models and I'm not gonna change them, I'm gonna leave them like that. But there's something about the combination of airbrush, which um, allows you to do some shading for shadows, as well as highlights that make that sucker pop, but it doesn't stop there. There's a combination of the two, which using the airbrush to use your shade, your base coating, your shading, your highlighting, but then turning around and using your hand paint skills to do some fine uh, edge highlighting and make that unit just look amazing. So again, I'm gonna show you real quick and let you see the difference. Okay, we are table down, and I'm going to show you the first units that I hand painted. Um, as you can see, this isn't bad, um, especially for someone who has just started painting just a few months ago. Um, I've only been in the hobby about as long. And this was all hand painted. I like the way it looks, you know, and I'm, honestly, if I did not have an airbrush, I would leave it, wouldn't have any issue. But I want to compare that, oh by the way, I'm sure you'll noticing the white base. Um, our good friend at Idic Beers already called me out on it, so this is going to be one of my projects. I need to I need to fix that base. But anyway, here is an airbrush model. And let me see if I can kind of zoom in a little bit. Bear with me. There we go. Okay, so a couple of things that you'll notice is it still has some of the base coloring of the other model, but what you are going to notice is that it has some shadings. Areas where there's shadow, that's where it's shaded. And of course, the areas that where light should be reflecting or should be bright has the highlights. I've also added some effects. You can see, of course, with this jump pack, it's going to have some, um, I guess, exhaust soot or, um, I don't know what that is, burn marks, um, for the uh, exhaust ports. And I really liked how this model uh, came out. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I like how this turned out. Here's another one. Of course, this guy... Um, he's a little cleaner. Of course, he's the sergeant for my um, uh, my assault squad. So I wanted him to be a little more pristine. Of course, I think he's been out in the sun too long, so his face is slightly sunburned, but that's okay. I like him anyway. I do not discriminate. But as you can see, again, the majority of this was airbrushed. Um, so I, I am partial now to airbrushing. Again, let me show you the... Um, one of my first early works here and you can kind of see the difference of a hand painted model versus an airbrush model okay um, here's another one that I'll show you this is a dreadnought that I hand painted and I think looks great I took the time to really um, you know paint every detail uh, imaginable on the sucker. This is one of my favorite um, miniatures. I, I just love that mech look. Um, I enjoyed doing this one. It's just an amazing piece. But again, this was all hand painted. And I do not want to take away from those that do phenomenal work with hand painted, but I definitely like the enhancements of the airbrush. Now, let me show you the difference here on the shading. Now bear with me, this is an actual um, 3D printed dreadnought. Um, now the only thing really that is not 3D printed are the arms um, and of course the front, front faceplate but everything else was 3D printed. Uh, my brother uh, actually did this for me and so I, out of courtesy I went ahead and I painted it just to see how it will turn out. So, but I want to show you the comparison. Don't die there, guy. Get back up. Okay, so you can see the comparison. Although they both look really good, I do like the shading 
effect on the one on the left. Um, you can see how the lower areas are darker for shadows and the, high, the, the parts of the above are highlighted to kind of uh, give a good um, light effect, if you will. So that's what I want to do and that's what I like to encourage Mythos to do on some of his work, especially since he's going to uh, be fixing up some of his new, uh, some of his models as well. So without further ado, Let's start this tutorial.